Here's the start of a process model we created in an earlier demonstration, where we drew some relationships between our model elements here. An enterprise architect provides some useful tools for exploring the relationships between your model elements. You access those from the Start ribbon, under Trace, and we'll first look at the Relationships window. So what this view provides is a list or an overview of all of the relationships for the currently selected element. So selecting activity A, we can see at a glance here the different types of relationships that it has, the start and uh, target elements that are involved, and some of the other relationship properties. So we get a quick overview. We can also select any of the entries and right click to adjust some of the relationship properties, even locate the source or target element. It's important to note too that even if the relationship isn't currently drawn on a diagram, they will show up in the relationships view. Say for example, I hide this relationship from the start element here, just right click it, choose visibility and hide. When I select activity A, you'll see that relationship is still shown in the view here, just that the view column marks it as hidden. So I'll quickly undo that change. Let's have a look at our second tool, the traceability window. So again, from the start ribbon, under trace, click traceability. And this provides an even more detailed view of your model elements. So again, starting from the selected element, activity A, we can even see implicit relationships like the uh, containment or ownership, where process A owns activity A. We see that in the project browser. And then you have the explicit relationships we saw earlier, such as the transition from the start element and transition to activity B. But then we can drill down further. So drilling into activity B, we see that that then transitions to the end element. So we get a complete trace of the relationships in the model this way. We can also filter the view. So using the drop down menu, let's say we only want to see the explicit relationships by uh, disregarding the containment, the implicit containment or nesting relationship. So deselect that and we're just left with the transitions that we saw in the relationship window. So these are just a couple of the tools that Enterprise Architect provides for navigating relationships in your model. In future demonstrations, we'll have a look at some more.